So about an hour ago, we put peeps, one in the water, one in the milk, and one in the oil. And then we made predictions. Corey said that he thought the oil was gonna melt the fastest because he thought it would pull the coating off of it. I said the water. Neither one of us said the milk. So they've been sitting in the liquids for about an hour. So let's take them out and see which one has dissolved the best. So here's the water. Here's the milk. And here's the oil. Slippery. All right, now the best way to decide which one of these has dissolved the best is to give them the squish test. So you're gonna squish them with a fork. Mmm, the water really hadn't done much at all. Let's try the oil. The oil hadn't done much at all either. Let's try the milk. Ah, the milk was easier to squish and it bubbled. So we were both wrong. Eh, it happens. The milk was the best substance. I'm not sure why I'll have to do some thinking on that on the scientific reason behind that. But your challenge. Are we saying that milk is a solvent? Well, this is whole milk. So I don't know if it has something to do with the fatty acids in it. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. I thought it would have been water. I really did. Sorry. Just had a question. But it was the milk. It surprised me. Who knew? So you can try this at home if you don't have a pee. You can use just a regular old marshmallow and see if you can come up with some different liquids and get a different result. And if you do, email it to teacher at gmail.com. All lowercase, no spaces. Now, Mr. Corey did not like losing the catapult challenge to me. So he's been sitting here working on his design and he's perfected it a little bit. So we're gonna give him an opportunity to shoot his peep since he didn't get that opportunity in the last challenge. So let's see what happens. Are you ready? Three. Stand by. Two. One. Fly. Oh, snap. Well, he definitely beat me. But did he beat me? Because he didn't do it right in the first challenge. That's true. What did you do different from me that made yours go a little farther? Uh, I added another rubber band at the front, and I added another one so that the spoon would stay with the tongue depressor because mm -hmm. when yours was shooting, the spoon would shoot forward, but it didn't have as much energy as the tongue depressor. Ah. So putting them together made them more rigid and made them have more energy to shoot. All right. So again, remember, we've set out some challenges for you this week. We've asked you to see if you could build a taller tower than us. We've asked you to see if you could explode some Easter eggs. And if you don't have any of these things at home, it's fine. It's just something fun. We thought if you had leftover Easter stuff at home, we would give you something to do besides sit here and look at your family every day. I would also say if you just have free time, jelly beans and toothpicks, you can build a tower as tall as you want and take a picture of it and send it to the email address because I like tall stuff. So, you can play with jelly beans, you can play with Easter eggs, leftover peeps, or anything else you come up with. You send me your challenges and we'll try them. We'll compete against each other because we kind of like that and we're sick of being stuck in the house together. So, send me a challenge and we'll try it out. Love y'all. See you later. Bye. Yeah, bye.